straight men give me the ick, like hard. Well, there's something about them. It's just yeah. something right. not right. <laughs> straight girl and straight guy. What do you guys have in common? Literally. No, what do you talk about? I feel like all you do is like fangirl over each other. I see my girlies and they're like with their guys and I'm like, they make sense together, but I don't know why. Yeah, I'm always just a little confused. I just want to know like what's yeah. the dynamic. <laughs> Hey campers, welcome back to another episode of Gay and Afraid with me, your host, Eric Cedeno, or better known as Rico Taquito. This is the podcast where we're putting the camp back in camping, and today we're talking about our biggest fears. To help me get into this topic, I have two special guests joining me around the campfire today. Please help me welcome the iconic, the international <laughs> <laughs> sensations, the dancing, Kara Canella and Jaden Gomez. Hey. 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 Good to see you guys. Good to see you. So, uh, what's with the outfit? Yeah, what's going on? Okay, so if you're listening, I'm in like a full 70s like uh, attire with, how would you say, a mushroom haircut? Yes. I have my mushroom Will Byers like haircut. Mushroom on. Will Byers oh, chic. Yes. Yes. Just, um, <laughs> basically, I, me and my brother started a candle company called Groove, and we just relaunched uh, with the new candles. Yeah. And we have all new designs, and we have two new summer scents. Rock the boat. Hey, rock the boat. Rock the boat. <laughs> the boat. Um, yeah, and they're really good. They have new amber glass. Every love... candle gives 15 meals. We're on a mission to help, you know, bring uh, good to your community and your home. Woo! So please check us out at GrooveGives.com. We're really proud. I did all the packaging myself. <laughs> and I think I did a so really good job. Yeah, no, I did, you did amazing. It's yeah. fire. I love it. Yeah, but I'm really It's so about soft. It. The packaging is so soft. Thanks. I did a nice box. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I a nice box. And I just love all the designs. Can I hold it? Yeah. Rock the Boat, I think, is my favorite. Rock scent. the Boat. It's really good. Mm -hmm. Two new summer scents, Mellow Yellow and Rock the Boat. So yeah. check us out. I love it. Yeah. I love that you guys are such a dynamic duo. Thanks like you so. like always are like a pair. Like. Thank you. <laughs> We're soulmates. Yeah. We this, did it though. Yeah. <laughs> we get the, it done. The last time we saw each other was in New York. We got we got dinner at like my favorite restaurant in New York. It was so good. And it was like ages ago when yeah. really it was just like this year. It was Literally. this year. I know. Doesn't it feel like this year's no. like flown by in the craziest way? It's my birthday month. Yes, my birthday what month. What day? What day? <laughs> Leo. What day? August 29th. So technically I'm a Virgo. Oh. Uh, Wait, are you, are you, are you, are when's the cutoff? So you're a cuss. I think it's the 22nd. It's like okay. one week away. I'm like, I consider myself cuss. Jen hates it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. I so can totally. what's the last day of Leo season? I think it's the 22nd. So I'm yeah. like a week out. So I'm not a cuss. But like, I'm not. Like, <laughs> technically I'm like too far out to be a cuss but i feel it like, so yeah you're, so you so you consider yourself more a leo than a virgo i would well okay have you looked at your birth chart yeah, yeah. i'm i'm like a pisces moon and okay. then a gemini rising uh, yeah. wait, i have gemini I have in my mine. chart too i yeah. have mine i, I just crazy. literally took a picture of my freaking book the other day remember uh -huh. i was like i know i know i have it in there and i took you're like an aries libra yeah i have pisces. aries pisces i have i thought i had Every once in a while, I'm like, do I have Gemini in me? But I don't think I do. You never know, though, because there's all the moons and Venuses and all that other stuff in there. But yeah, so. you're a Cancer. I'm a Cancer rising. <sighs> yeah. I already and forgot, but I'm pretty sure I'm a Pisces rising. I think Pisces I have a Aries moon. Class. Okay. And Libra something. something. Libras, yeah. I love Libras because they're kind of airhead. Well, they're really smart. I, am, I am an airhead. <laughs> Libras are am. funny. All my Libras are like really smart. Like they're actually like intelligent, but then they make like the most airheady decisions. I'm like, you're so. If that doesn't say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I, I sometimes forget that I'm just like not fully Pisces. You know what I mean? I'm like, no, then I get that. I, I love Pisces. The Pisces are like always emotional. Oh, and I'm so emotional. Yeah. I'm a Pisces moon, which is Bad. like where the yeah. emotions run in the moon. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I see that. Yep. I love Pisces. Yep. I like take myself on emotional roller coasters for no reason. Like, I'm just like, just like, you want to know why? Because we prepare for the worst, but we expect the best. And that's what it is. I'm kind of the sometimes. opposite. I feel like I expect the, the, the worst. Or no, no, I expect. Wait, what did you say? <laughs> it's like we prepare, we prepare for the worst, but we expect. Oh the best. yeah, okay. I'm the kind of like, the same. I yeah, yeah. The best, you're right. You're right. Prepare for the worst. I was know? like, my brain couldn't comprehend that. I was like, wait a minute. I was like, I was gonna... <laughs> oh, and then I wanted to explain. Like every episode, I run through the name of the podcast, Gain Afraid. And before I start, it's funny. So don't like. <laughs> like okay, so when I was a Boy Scout, I was a Boy Scout, and hey. uh, we were at camp around the campfire, and. um 
all the other Boy Scouts, like, I'm in sixth grade. They, like, turned, they were all sitting there, and one of them turns to me and goes, Erica, are you gay? No. And I remember, like, being, like, nothing was in my body but fear and gay. And I was like, no, I'm, like, no, I'm like, so gay. Like, girls are so sexy. Like. <laughs> um, oh, my God. I just think it's, like, so funny to, like, look back at that person and know that was totally different. Mm -hmm. And I would have never seen myself being who I am now. And like also like that person had totally different fears and totally different like like things they wanted to do and expectations about life. Like no yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But like mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know. I think that's like so crazy. Like what were you guys like as kids? Oh my god. What were you like as a kid? I was I was pretty shy. I was like put together. I was always in dance, so I just feel like I was around girls all the time, hence why I'm lesbian now. Like <laughs> it's like everything from your child always like meets you when you're older. And I'm like, no wonder I like love dance and that's yeah. like, all I did. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I was all over the place. I was everything and everything as a kid. Yeah. I was never Wild in one spot. I feel like you were the type of girl who had like a ton of hairstyles. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Let's get into that. <laughs> <laughs> my first color that I had was pink. My mom let me dye oh. a stripe underneath my head because I saw Aquamarine and I <sighs> wanted blue hair but then we were all like me my friend mary and nikki shout out <laughs> shout out my trio mary and nikki man they were the best we all got matching stripes underneath oh, our head that's cool and it was like fifth grade and so every day i like <laughs> slick my head up so people could see my like bright pink that's and so then, cool and then my mom let me dye my bangs blue and then so did was, you ever get beads oh yeah, i had feathers I had in my hair feathers. oh feathers yeah. was, was such bad. a moment i was mm -hmm. that was bad also, i was it was it was not a moment for me because I was like the whitest girl walking around with like pink hair and like clear lime green yeah. feathers in my hair with my braces and rubber bands. Like it was so funny, but I never stopped with the colors in my hair. It was like That's every a, time I was done, that. I was like new color. Yeah. Red. See, my mom didn't let me have any fun like that. She was like, she'd buzz my hair. But also my mom wait, was like, embarrass yourself. Live is, it up. <laughs> is, which, one, which movie? Is it Aquamarine, the movie that's like, r nar clear. No, no, that's H2O. 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 <laughs> <Hey guys. laughs> she made me watch that in Mexico. The best show. It's She's so cute. She's never seen it. I'm never like, seen it. What the f have you not seen this shit? Is it's Aquamarine, so good. Wait, then Aquamarine is the one where she's like a mermaid who turns into a girl. Yes. And then yes. she like puts salt in her glass yes. at the dinner date. Yes. Okay. Yes. I, yes. Okay. Yes. I always get them confused. Have you seen Splash? Uh, With Tom Hanks? It's a long, it's, a, it's like a 80s movie. Um, I don't, I don't think I have. 80s, 90s it's a good movie. Oh, is it good? It's, it's so, cute. Is it 80s? I don't know, but Maybe. it's so good. It's basically like, He's a kid and he fall. He's like has like this like like a, a sirens like basically like calling out to him. Yeah. And he's like falls into the ocean and there's like this little girl mermaid that's like the same age as him that he like sees but he thinks he's like like freaking that he thinks he's like hallucinating. And so yeah. like when he gets out, the, his whole life he like dreams of this like girl that he met as a kid that's like a mermaid. But he's like, I was, I was, I was a kid. I was, yeah. I was hallucinating. You know what I mean? Yeah. I almost died. I was like literally about to drown. Well, anyway, he like has this like issue in life or whatever and he goes to the same place where he like saw that mermaid and he ends up like accidentally falling off a boat and like hitting his head and like is like about to drown and that same mermaid saves him i made her watch this okay. <laughs> and um the same mermaid like saves him and like runs off and then like he sees her and she has feet and she's like fully naked like fully naked this girl has like long, long blonde hair, hair oh. and it, like covers her ass and she like <laughs> saves him and then like runs back off in the ocean he's like what the like what the uh, like it's so so it's cute. cute but the the funny thing about it is like i swear to god like when you watch this movie like you really think about it i feel like this kind of shit has happened because what happens is there's this guy and there's this whole organization that is like obsessed with finding mermaids like obsessed 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 and he's like i'm gonna find this bitch and he finds her right he finds her and he is like at this like presidential like ceremony like uh, the president is like speaking yeah and he finds a girl and like splashes water on her and like turns her into a mermaid in front of everybody. And the CIA comes within like two seconds and snatches her up and takes her. And I'm like, this That's happened. has had to have happened because there's no they way mermaids aren't real. They know too much. Like there's, there is, <laughs> there is no way. You think mermaids are real? Absolutely. You don't think they're real? I don't think they're beautiful. Like, like face beat, like yeah, like you know what I mean. Like I think they're scary, like in like insidious Evil. creatures. Like I feel like their hair is like octopus legs. Like will like lure you in and like trap you and eat you. And like it's not like oh I'm gonna give you a wish and like give you a tail and you could live with me under the sea world forever. No, it's like no, yeah. I'm gonna eat if you and lure I, you in and if, I'm a mermaid that's gonna kill you. you if I was I mean? a mermaid, I'd be serving cunt. Like I would be. I know you would. I know you I'd would. be in my Dua Lipa like bad <laughs> wig. 
and Did I you see Barbie. We haven't yes! seen it yet. We haven't it's, seen it. It's good. It's so good. Oh, tonight. We have not seen I, it. You know John Cena's in it. We were wondering. We didn't know his that was lace a meme. looks so much better yes. than her. Why did they give her oh, the bad hair? Like she's supposed to have bad hair. She's a synthetic she's a barb. Yeah. That's what I said. Okay, cool. But I'm like, like, had to have had intentions. Speaking of hair, like I am so afraid of getting bad haircuts now because my mom, when I growing up. I used to get like she used to like buzz my head every two weeks. Like I would like oh, it was wow. like it was like <laughs> no I mean it was growth. like it was buzz cut. It would like grow like, it a little bit, and then she'd be like, "Okay, time for a haircut." And so like now my hair is so precious to me. Like it just means so much to me mm -hmm. yeah. that I can't like I can't don't I like that's why it's so long right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is okay. the way. This isn't a wig. But, um, you're like. Yeah, I'm not touching this. Because. No, but I really want to chop. I want to chop so bad. Hey, what if you chop? Just... <laughs> <laughs> but what if you just did like a mini chop and like gradually? No, okay. So it's my birthday, <laughs> and for my birthday, I kind of want to reset. So I want to like cut all my hair off and shave my mustache and just be like, <gasps> no, not the, it'll not come back in two true. weeks. The hair, no. the hair will take no, a few right. more months. But like, like the mustache, <laughs> will the mustache comes back right away, and then like. Like the hair. I forgot what if you, you did a baby mullet. Face? I can't picture you a baby face. No, like I'm gonna look so different and yeah. probably like a lot younger, and I'll probably feel better about myself, like just for a little bit, you know. <laughs> so how old are you turning? I forget. Nineteen. Oh yes. my god! Yay! Yes! Nasty nineteen. <laughs> Congrats. I love I'm, it. I'm actually turning twenty-seven. Oh my god! Congratulations. Slay. Congrats. And thanks. Yeah, I know. Okay, it's, not so like, it's not a scary age. I want to ask you a question. Yeah. Because this bitch. Yeah. She just turned twenty-five. Yeah. And she was like, I just every age after 25 like sucks she's like i feel like you get to celebrate like you know 21 22 23 24 25 hey! and it's like 26 27 <laughs> 28 and i'm like no it's still exciting you know what i mean no so yeah i, I want to know how you felt turning 26 yeah you're like oh my god eh! actually like, eh. 26 like freaked me out <laughs> okay <laughs> i was like not that i was like like scared of it or like i don't know what it was but i just was like Really like, oh my God, I'm 26. Which I thought I would feel at 25. I thought right. I'd be like, oh my God, I'm 25. But I think like it was also right after, it was the year I quit my job to do like social media. Mm. And then I turned 26. And then I was like, what the f am I doing? Like, where am I headed? Like yeah. I had like a like a big like panic about it. Yeah. But I don't know. I feel like that's what every I feel like all of us Literally. are doing that. Like we're in our 20s. We need to have everything figured out. We need to be set by the time we're ah. and yeah. it's like you look at all these like super successful, famous, just happy people that like get their shit together and like they're in 60s. Literally. And I'm like, hey, or like all these famous actresses that didn't get like their big break until they were like 50 or some shit. Yeah. And I'm like, eh, like we, we just don't have to put ourselves on a time crunch just because we're like hitting a mark and you guys you know? have probably like already had your big break like that's what i keep on thinking to myself i was like <laughs> oh my god like i would have never thought i'd have all the things i have right now oh, at, that, my age. I, at 25 I, yeah I yeah not. i didn't think i'd make it to 23 we, I, <laughs> we, I told, every year since high, high school i'd be like i just can't picture myself like Old. earning that age uh -huh. like i can't and it's just weird I, now i picture myself like 55 botoxed up <laughs> eyebrows thread like <laughs> new, new nose chin filled i'm like okay <laughs> I I'm gonna be. Nose. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Okay, I'm I, just, your nose. I just. I always make that joke to everyone. I was like, yeah, when I get my nose job, it's over for you, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. No, wait. Are you like that type where, like, when you get gray hair, are you wanting to like keep it covered? Do you oh, want yeah. gray? Okay, so I have gray hair right now. Okay. My uncle was fully gray by the time he was thirty. Like he like fully salt and pepper by the time he was wow. thirty. Wow. And I'm kind of headed there, but like I'd rather have gray hair than bald. Me too. The See, only mm -hmm. that is exactly what I was like. Once I let my hair go gray, it's going. I'm yeah. I'm like, I'm gonna highlight the f out of my hair and go silver. You, yeah, go <laughs> silver. Like, stay in there. But, like, the only thing that I hate is, like, it's just, like, one pocket right here that mm. is just, like, it's, like, start random. Going, start going bronze. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, like, I was, like, and I just wish it, if it would all happen at once, if it was, like, all gray all over, then I'd be, like, okay, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Because it's just, yeah. like, one, like, random, like, batch of, like, it doesn't, it, like, looks crazy. Mm -hmm. So I kind of, like, I think I'm just gonna cover it a little bit until it all is all over and then I can just like let it be what it is. Yeah. Smart. yeah. My grandma has the prettiest gray hair. Like it's, it's, oh, like I, I have envied her hair since I was a child. Really? Like her and my grandma, something honest, they've both had the prettiest silver salt and pepper hair. And my grandma, the one that I said had hair down her, her butt. Yeah. She had thick black hair. Like when in high school, like her, her, 
profile picture. <laughs> oh my god. For a yearbook, yearbook photo? <laughs> that picture. was the OG PFP. No. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. She's glamorous. Like, I want to show you guys a picture, but I, I don't know if I'll be able to find it fast enough. But she, I feel like it's one of my favorites. But she's <laughs> so thick. And then I don't know when she started going silver but she did get breast cancer so her head was like shaved for a while oh wow and then it came back thick as hell yeah and just silver Dang. and blonde uh, um pep black pepper <laughs> sorry brown. yeah keep saying brown. <laughs> and same with my grandma something they both had breast cancer and then it came back oh really yeah wow, wow. prettiest hair i'm like i yeah i feel like balding is like a huge fear not like fear my my dad is like bald and my brother, he's like, I'm losing my hair. And I'm like, we have the same hairline. No, my, I'm like, I'm like, what if you're going bald, I'm going bald. Like, my like, brother's <laughs> my brother freaks out about his hair too. And my he just buzzed his hair, which is weird. Cause I was like, He looks great. No, he looks What's great. Your, it's just yeah. funny because I was like, I want to buzz my head. And then he did it for me. And I was like, Well, now I can't buzz <laughs> my head. We'll literally look exact <laughs> fucking same, but whatever. But my um like my grandma Santianas, my grandpa Santianas had thick hair and same thing, yeah. full salt and pepper. And he had dark hair and thick for a long time while he was old my brother was like oh that's gonna be me that's yeah. gonna be me and i feel like it really is but there's he also has that like nervousness because on my mom's side my mom's dad fully bald yeah like, and Dang. lost his hair real quick and so yeah. my and, and my brother like there's an army picture of my grandpa and he looks exactly like my brother and it freaks him out sometimes and i'm like hey there's nothing wrong with going bald there's Not nothing the wrong with it he just really wants my grandpa santianis's hair. hair and i yeah. think he that's what he has yeah he just gets nervous i know and like there's so many things you can do to like keep it now like that. People, there's all the tricks like people put like rosemary and stuff yeah oh, i do true. that also, really forget. it has helped thicken my hair so much you have really pretty hair thank you it's also like gotten so long yes so long. yeah because it used it to be like short. she straightened it the other day and it like it was like past my boob yeah Oh yeah, on. when you would you guys did that model camp, uh, the Coco Rocha, uh -huh. and you were like in that chair, and you're like, I don't know, you're a sir. <laughs> I, I so want you to do the bantu knots again. Those are fire. I know, I'm gonna get braids yeah. again too. Those I'm excited. Those are fire. Change it up a bit. Did okay, were, did you say you didn't like your braids last time? They were like really heavy, and I got goddess braids, so it was like a braid, and then she had attached oh, like curly hair synthetic oh. onto it, so it was just like hair added to the braid. Yeah, and it was like so pretty, so heavy. I would like wake up, and my neck would just be like oh my so God. stiff. So I'm definitely and, getting lighter ones, but and it was like. She, she would always say like, since there was extra hair attached, the, the hairs would get tangled. Yeah. So it's like oh. when it's braided, like nothing gets tangled. But when yeah. there's extra hair, every like, week I'd like cut. Oh, cause it would be like, there's like the braid and then it's like sticking out with the yeah. curls. That looks so cute. It's so, so hot cute. when you first get it's it so done. Cute. It's so, so hot. Cute. You could I, do it again. It's maybe not as many. Not as many, yeah. Curls. Maybe ones. shorter like a couple, sections. Just, uh, you know, blue, blue. It's I, so pretty. I, I loved think, it. I love girls with braids. I know. Oh, like, oh, I know. It's, like, it's so, so hot. It's so hot. Mm -hmm. It's such a good look. Like, mm -hmm. wait, I did want to go back. Like, so did you guys, when you were kids, did you were you guys afraid of things? Where like, did you have like big fears? Yeah. I was afraid of like coming out. Like that was probably like for the longest time. <laughs> I always, I, I mean, I was always a curious kid. Like yeah. I'm pretty sure I, I've always said this. I'm like, I'm like, I feel like nobody should have to even come out. Like no one has to. Well, yeah. You know what I mean? It's so yeah. fucking annoying. That would be but crazy. It's like, I'm like. I'm surprised my parents don't know I'm bi or pans. I'm pretty sure because I'm like I, just, I don't want to say bisexual because like I would never yeah. go with like a straight man. You know what I mean? So <laughs> really? Like, yeah. No. I'm like I, straight men give me the ick like hard. So it's like I well, there's something about them. It's just yeah. something right. not right, <laughs> and they make me even uncomfortable. Like most straight ass men make me so uncomfortable, and I feel like they yeah. have nothing in common. Like it's just so off. You know I know. What I, mean? I always think about like like straight like like straight couples, like just a straight girl and it, a straight guy. What do you guys have in common? Literally. No, what are you yeah. talking about? I feel like all what you do is like about? fangirl over each other and you don't have anything in common other than like, you just like to look at each other. That. Like it's, that's what it feels like sometimes. But I also don't know anything yeah. about other people. <laughs> but then I, my I thing see, is, is like, oh, go ahead. Oh no, I just like, I see my girlies and they're like with their guys and I'm like, yeah, they like, they make sense together, but I don't know why. Like, <laughs> I don't know what works, but it makes sense, I guess. You know, I'm happy for people when yeah. they get their person, but I, I'm always just a little confused. I just want to know, like, what's yeah. the dynamic? But yeah. like, my thing is, was like, when I was a kid, like, I was always around girls. And I will say this, like, I'm, I'm 23. Like, I don't care if my parents are listening at yeah. this point. Like, my, my dad made it very like, clear yeah. that like, he did not want me to be around boys. Really? So, like, sorry, dad, if you're listening to this, but like, it's not <laughs> your fault, but like, kind of is. Like, he literally would always be like, 
if he, I come home and I catch you with a boy, if you bring home a boy that's sagging his pants and you bring home a boy that is like treating oh. you like shit, and, like, or if like you bring home this kind of boy and like, so I always just have like, okay, okay, okay. You know what I mean? Like I, I'm that's scared. Of, I, I'm like, that's bringing my fear. Yeah. Bringing home a boy or being caught with a boy or even having a crush on a boy. Like I felt like I never had that like openness, like all the other girlfriends I had had yeah. with their dad. Like their dad would be like, oh, you like this boy? Like, yeah. mm -hmm. like be like so like playful with them. And I was like, oh my God, I'm scared to even talk about a boy. Yeah. I would have to tell my girly friends when they came over, don't talk about this guy. Don't talk about this. Don't mention this. Don't cuss. You know what I mean? Like I had to be like, oh, okay, so really like, strict. I was so nervous to just be like, uh, I like girls That's or like, really, oh, I kind of yeah. like this person or like, I, I still like guys, but I still like girls. You know what I mean? Like I was so like, I didn't know what that to do. It seems like a really crazy dynamic because your mom feels like just like she was letting you express yourself and like explore your identity uh -huh. yeah. and your dad was really strict so yeah. that's like such and a like weird and like my dad didn't care that I was like being all rambunctious with my hair and all that yeah. kind of stuff he, it, it honestly probably went over his head yeah like, he signs. probably was like my flamboyant daughter is <laughs> yeah. you know like I was you know I tried every sport I was always with the dudes you know what I mean yeah. but I was always with also the girls like I had like when I grew up with my friends on my block like I had a lot of guy friends that I was hanging out with my brothers and like my brother and all of his friends like I got along with everybody and so my dad didn't care but it was just like when it came down to like somebody liking me like yeah. there is instances where like you know some stupid kid in kindergarten would say something to me that was yeah. like inappropriate for that age and then my yeah. dad was like no boys you know what I mean? oh yeah <clears throat> and but all throughout high school all throughout high school like you come home with a boy or like blah, 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 blah. like every time I wanted to even just go hang out with a boy yeah. my dad was like you have to bring him home and meet me first I'm like bitch I don't even know if I want to meet them first yeah. like how do I even know if I like them enough to bring home to make sure that they like you like you know what yeah. I mean like why would I do that yeah. if it's serious I'll bring him home to you <laughs> like the like, one what? also like there's like no train like if you're gonna be gay if you're gonna like like you, there's no training it out of you. Like you just like <laughs> wired that it's wired from birth in your brain that you're gonna be the person you mm -hmm. are. Literally. So like uh -huh. all these like rules and these things that were like they're like oh like if your son's acting gay put him in sports. Like what is that gonna do? <laughs> then he's gonna be around like muscular guys. I know. Like, 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 yeah. Like, thank you. It's like it's <laughs> like, so. Okay. I feel like it's like really crazy to think about like people will see things and try to like turn their kid know, the other way. I don't get it. But I really don't get it. It's sad. It's sad. Yeah. It's like conversion therapy. I'm like, are you yeah. kidding me? Are you kidding me? I can't me? believe that's real. <laughs> no, they finally like, like abolished it in Italy or something like something that. They like finally that. got rid of it some in some Somewhere. country and it was like oh, a yeah. really big deal. And I was yeah. like, I can't believe that shit's still real. Like they well, shock, scary. they like yeah. fully shock people. Well, Italy's a very religious it's, like I know. country. It's, it's sad. So that actually it's is sad. really crazy. It's just yeah. sad to me. I'm like, Oh, it's heartbreaking. But I think it's also really crazy. I'm like, I come from like a Catholic family, and my like my family, my grandparents go to church like every Sunday, and, or like no, sorry, every day. And my mom oh. goes to church every <laughs> Sunday. Like, oh, okay. I know, yeah. I was like, and so, and it's like so funny that m my family is Catholic, but they have this like, God loves everyone, like everyone mm -hmm. is like God's creature kind of mindset that yeah. I feel like religion really kind of tries to point you towards mm -hmm. but no one not everyone has that because they, they just don't like gay people and they're like trying to use religion as a reason it's so ah, annoying yeah. it really makes me that makes me sad too I'm like y'all are spewing God loves yeah. everybody but then you're the ones trying to yeah. get rid of them I'm like what the hell is, makes think, no yeah. sense and I think like I had a big fear of coming out because of like the religion aspect mm -hmm. and like be in church and be like gay mm -hmm. people are bad and yeah. I like, like, yeah. just like say it and I'm like um, well, and it's yeah. always just like you grow up around really like homophobic people, and you hear things that people say, and like you're just like, hmm, I don't especially even especially growing up in Texas. Yeah, yeah growing up in Texas like, is like really wild. Growing up, it, oh yeah, <laughs> me and we're from Plano. Like, we're literally uh, high school rivals. Yeah, that's actually so funny. <laughs> that's crazy. So ironic. It's so ironic. Small world. I like know. so random. Mm -hmm. Like, wait. D can, do you mind if I ask when you came out? I didn't. I actually didn't come out till like a y two years ago. But yeah. I feel like I've never had a relationship with a guy. Like I've always yeah. been really scared yeah. to talk to guys. I've always just had comfort with girls. So when I moved out to LA, I was like, it's time to go, let's go. <laughs> so I fully came out, I think last year, it was like a year ago. I don't remember, it was like very, it's, it's like subtle. It's like, it's like not. Yeah, I'm not hey, gonna, I didn't like make a video. I was just kind of like more comfortable. Like I start posting. Yeah. It's like, I think people just like get the on. hint. I yeah. feel like people that understand and. The girlies and the gays—they know. know, you know. Yeah, you, just, like, you know the vibe. Out. Like you see one post and you're like, huh, yeah, 
Yeah. <laughs> I got it. I got it. Got it. You know what I mean? Yeah. The rainbow flags are waving. And yeah. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, that's like so cool. I feel like coming out is such a process. And also like, I, I do feel like, like lesbians have a harder time because it's like, basically like, I feel like there's this thing online where you're like, women be like, men are awful. And you can all objectively agree, like straight men are awful. Like mm -hmm. they're so like, it's a patriarchy and they're like awful to women and mm -hmm. it's like hard to date. Yeah. So you can be in this mindset. You're like, oh, I just like, so like men are just terrible. And you're like, not even thinking like, oh, am I thinking this because it's just the truth? Or am I thinking this because I like women? Yeah. And like, I feel like that's such a real thing that mm -hmm. it, a lot of people have a denial. I would, that yeah. was me. So many, I was in I feel denial like for so a while. Much, I feel like there's so many women in relationships also yeah. that are like, yeah. oh my and God, I actually think I am fully lesbian and like can't even bring myself to like accept it and like yeah. feel because they have to some some women will have to switch around their whole entire life yeah their entire life will change and like it's a it's a great and beautiful thing but also that scares the f out of them yeah. and they yeah. won't accept it and they'll just yeah i think like everyone inside. A, like Sucks. even a lot of straight guys like are way more bisexual like then they it's so easy to tell when a straight <laughs> guy is gay i'm like y'all yeah, project a little yeah, too like, hard i don't know like, i could <laughs> when when you're making the most out of pocket like homophobic jokes that no one is even like where is it even coming from half yeah. the time that's what it was in albuquerque in albuquerque that's how it was i was oh looking around God. like yo wait I have a little I, secret i have something so i have something so funny. so i was looking at my instagram comments on i did a pride post because i was like on a float uh -huh. and <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i got this like homophobic comment that made me laugh so hard because it was like <laughs> lgbtq but <laughs> was censored like the they were like put a, a asterisk on the uh -huh. U oh, brother. and then LGBTQ. I was like, okay, respectful. <laughs> <laughs> and then all also, the letters. I was like, bitch, you you censored your like homophobia, like even. I was like, you know, you're working on something. I don't know. Like, I thought that was like, if you're gonna oh, be homophobic and you're gonna be like censoring yourself and also be like LGBTQ. <laughs> I'm like, like, I'm like, what? Yeah. I just think it's so, I was like, that's so <laughs> funny. Also, the internet has changed the way people like are homophobic oh, because no. like, I feel like I would have expected to be called like a slur or like something like yeah. crazy. And they wrote out LGBT and I'm like, what? Like, that's so crazy. What they a just... crazy. And then like, I look at their profile and like, obviously like no pictures, oh, like yeah. 20 mm -hmm. followers. It's so all like, the time. It's yeah. all the time. And then we're getting attacked by these religious oh, moms yeah. right now because of the barbie yeah. the barbie, the barbie, barbie dance that, that we happened. are doing oh, really? oh these mamas are not the happy with us so they're good. like this is not what barbie stands for this is oh disgraceful <laughs> like my kids don't deserve to be watching and they're this. boycotting the movie oh my god i'm like reason? girl barbie's gay yeah, yeah. like the theme is she's up. everything he's just ken <laughs> she doesn't yeah. give a flying <laughs> about him I just like feel like that whole. Everybody's movie. been making their Barbie scissors since you, they got him off the box. No, I, I, I want to know what are you talking about? That I have never made. Is so I have funny. never made my. <laughs> I have never had a boy Barbie, Barbie ever. I was really? making yeah. my brats and my mermaids and oh. my Barbies. They were getting it on. They had no, the party bus. I, I mean, <laughs> I used to sneak into my sister's room and get her Barbies, and I would f that doll's hair up. I would that doll's hair up so bad and then one time she like my mom would get her the fancy ones with the like the gown uh -huh. i took it out of the box and i <gasps> the holiday and ones? had like the perfect waves and i was like let me <laughs> that. And, and i put it back in the box and my mom goes <gasps> who did this and i remember i ran into the room i was like victoria no! what did you do i did, she took the fall so hard like, <laughs> you damn <laughs> I just know, like, I, but like, <laughs> I was so, I want to play with Barbie so bad. Oh my, oh my God. They're I kind of so want to, we should, we should all go get our personalized yeah. ones. You can yeah. go and make your own. Really? Yeah, at the Barbie. Oh, it's like house. build a Barbie. Build a Barbie, yeah. your own Barbie that looks exactly that's like so you. That's so cool. You get the hair, hair outfits, everything. Oh Little my God, suit. that's so cool. No, we should all do it because I really want to make a mermaid one again. I used to have the mermaids, the move, the movable ones that like, the oh, tails yeah. would like move in the water. And what did your hair change color? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And their tails. I had one. Oh, I remember those commercials and they'd be in the tub. Oh, I'm so sad and i saw someone this morning on tiktok being like me thinking about my mom when i didn't want my barbies anymore and it was also oh, like yeah. a sad you guys you see the movie life. i know we're gonna it's, see it tonight oh yeah you yeah. are it's 
It's really good. I feel like it's for women. It's like a movie for women. But like oh. it made me, I thought about like my mom and like my sister and it like made me cry. Like it was like really good. That's it's really sweet. Oh, and like, so I don't know. Excited. It's like camp and it's like cheesy and it's like I can't believe they didn't thoughtful. use any CGI. I know. The None. Sets are, insane. sets are beautiful too. Like it's like crazy. I'm like, I'm excited. They have, this isn't like a spoiler, but they have like a background and it's Mount Rushmore, but it's Barbies. <gasps> and what? it's literally like, it's not like a pivotal part of the, the uh -huh. movie, but, That's but so it's dope. like, and I'm like, they, I can't believe they painted like this giant wow. background to be that. It's really cool. They really, they there's going to be so, so many Oscars. Wins yeah. For that. Oh Did yeah. You hear that she's already the first it's woman a, director to ever make like this much money off of oh yeah in the, the box office or something like that I yeah. it was like three hundred fifty million dollars in like one day or something so she yeah. passed Spider Man oh yeah she passed everybody yeah she passed everybody she's out there it's like so there. cool yeah I like really love and like also their marketing was so smart because and honestly I feel like Oppenheimer happening happening the same day or like coming out the same day it really like elevated it uh -huh. to like so something could people I'm could like. like you know what I mean? Like people could like make fun of the fact that like they're opposite types yes. of movies mm -hmm. yeah. coming out on the same day. And I just think it's like so funny that like people like Barbenheimer, like that like thing took like, off. Who the f and the of posters that? people make are like oh, so creative. Yes. The it's Pink so Floyd cool. one's my favorite of the, the handshake the of them like on fire. <laughs> it's so good. But I'm like a little nervous to watch that movie. I'm not gonna watch it. And I'm I don't sorry. think I don't think that's it's, a movie for boys. It's literally <laughs> already banned in where did it get banned in? Um Japan. Yeah. Where it happened. Yeah. 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 Why would you even it's already glorifying? I'm like, yeah, I don't really, I don't really get crazy. it. I don't get it. And then they're 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 fully these girls are fully drooling over the guy that plays the main guy. Oh really? Like, What's his name? I don't know. I, I know. He like he looks a little scary. He looks like a he looks like he's but he scary. he always <laughs> plays like bad guys. Like he was in Batman and he played like the scarecrow, right? Like yeah. he played like See? a But yeah. something about the actors that always play the bad guy, I'm like, you're just a little too good at playing the bad guy. I but Florence know. Pugh is in it. Is she bald? And I'm obsessed with her. No, she's and the wife. Oppenheimer? Yeah, she's the wife, I think. She's bald now though. <laughs> she is. Uh, Wait, she shaved her head. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, she uh, I'm sorry. She got, she I got thought yep, she did. She looks yeah, hot. she's she's <laughs> She's no, looking I like, real I love good. Yeah, Pugh. she's looking real good. Um, okay, so wait, do you mind if we circle back to like no, yeah. fears? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> uh, yes. What were you like your fears as like a kid? Do you remember? Oh, fully. I have a really weird fear. Really? I had a fear of stickers. Oh my gosh. So that is really like, when like, they would put them on your paper, like oh, when you got like stickers. an A plus or something. Like, go head stickers. I was like, yeah, those fucking hurt. <laughs> go head stickers. Paper hurt. Never heard of that. No, go ahead. Um, no. But they were stickers and we would get them like if you did good, like you'd get a green or a red or a yellow or whatever. I hate stickers because my what? brother would put them on the back of my neck oh. and I wouldn't know they were there. Yeah. And then they'd get rip my hair out when I would like try to rip them out. But also it's just the feeling of them. Oh, and yeah. I know that there's a name out there that actually like a fear of stickers. It's a thing. Oh, really? I'm not crazy. Yeah. I but I just called. But that's a really specific one. I've never yeah. heard of that one before. Pitikiniophobia. Pitikiniophobia. Interesting. <laughs> what a random. I'm going to put that in my Tinder bio. There you go. Pitikiniophobia. Like, don't bring stickers to the date, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Do not me. bring stickers. I don't need it. Look. I am scared of big. Okay. Well, I have a lot of things I'm scared of, but I'm scared of. Well, I'm claustrophobic for one. Hella claustrophobic. Oh, really? I can't do small spaces. What, I will. Do you do okay on planes and stuff? Or yeah, I'm okay on planes. Cause yeah. I got. Yeah, know, there's like some. Space. I'm not enclosed, but like yeah. I like you know like those like slides that people go on where they're like they just like stand there and wait to drop and they're like enclosed in like a glass. Oh thing. yeah. Absolutely not. No. Yeah. Absolutely no. 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 Even those water slides kind of scared me because I'm like, what if something happens and I'm stuck in this tube? Oh. Like. No. Also, speaking of tubes, I'm also scared of people, psychos, putting knives and blades in the tube uh, slits. Have you ever uh, heard what? of that? On water slides? Uh-huh. What? That's why, they, that's why they check. Guys. People do that? They, why that's why they, they check the water slides every morning and every night before you go onto the slide. That's why they do that is because people have literally... Dang. gotten slit open from going down a water slide because people go in there and hide razors in there. That is so Because they're psycho up. and rude. That's such like a, that feels very American. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, of like, course what, it would like, only happen here. What's wrong with people here? Like, oh, absolutely. Like, something's just not right. No, yeah. for real. It's really crazy. But other than that, big, big objects, like at the, in dark, you know what I mean? Like when mm -hmm. you're like walking and like you see like a really big, 
like sign it just looks creepy and it's yeah. oh it looks like there's something gonna crawl like, over it do you guys remember like being scared of the dark yeah, yeah. I'm, still, I I'm still I'm, I'm, I'm still i'm still i still have on like a little night light in the kitchen uh-huh. so that way we can see when we go yeah. i because my, my thing is like my, my face my face my brain is so good at making faces in the dark imagine a little too if good there's like a there's like a uh like a jacket on the chair i'm like someone's here to kill me oh yeah mm-hmm. i'm like i see them no like, yeah i'm like i so... fully envision things moving when they're not i'm like that door is fully yeah. open right now Bro, and that's I'm like, the weed no no it's, <laughs> no, it's every terrible day. at night i like see i things. am so but this is my thing i'm stoned <laughs> i'm stoned 24 7 it doesn't matter i'm i've no. never not been high like Literally. on like oh, I've, I've, really? i'm always She's stoned always i smoked high. a full joint before i walked in here like i'm always stoned if i was like if i had smoked before this i'd be on the floor I, like i don't know i, just I can't. finally finally have a tolerance where i'm like i can smoke at any time of the day and be like chilling like i yeah. I've, I've gotten it's a talent and who told me that i out smoked them Sleep oh on. khalid khalid we smoked with khalid and he said she outsmoked them Oh, I love. Khalid. She's like ripping I, bongs. I love. He's like, no, we were we were smoking. I just like I finally have a tolerance, but it's also because I worked at a medical dispensary for a while, so I had oh, like yeah. really good shit in Albuquerque, and like I think that also helped me build my tolerance. But yeah. I have to smoke. Yeah. Like I have to. You're like a good. You're very functional on it. Like I trained not, myself. Yeah, like that's good. Like I'm not. <laughs> Like, <laughs> also, like, I can't make a joke when I'm high because everything's funny. So I'm <laughs> like, like, I'm like, no, that's kind of me. I, I just <laughs> laugh at everything. Yeah, I'm like, okay, well, what now? I'm like, <laughs> I can't, I can't do it. Like, I don't know why. No, I, you know, that's just personal preference. Good for you. We'll get you no, there. It's okay, <laughs> I, I, this is my thing though. It's like I. <laughs> you guys, we've been talking though about seriously taking a huge tolerance break. Like, I need it bad. Oh, really? Like, I need it bad. I really do. Because one thing that I don't like about how much smoking I'm doing is that I can feel my memory getting so bad. Yeah. And I used to have, like, the sharpest memory. And I'm like, I don't even remember what I wore yesterday. Like, (laughs) I I fully don't even remember what if I, like, shit this morning. Like, I I don't even remember. Yeah. I think for me, like, smoking is, like, I know, like, drinking, if I have like two glasses of wine, I know exactly how I'm going to feel. Like I know exactly oh, how absolutely. drunk I'm going to be. Absolutely. Whereas like smoking, I feel like different strains of weed hit me way harder. That. And like, I can't, I can't function. I don't function the same on like indica or sativa. Mm. Like it really does like really make a difference for me. Mm-hmm. And so I think I've never spent the time to like really figure it out because. The, see, that's, yeah. the, that's the thing. We are very specific on where, how we yeah. smoke. Like yeah. I, I don't like, just like whenever we go to the dispensary, I'm not like, oh, I'm going to try this today and this today. I get the same thing every time. Like whatever I know does good for me and like I can function and like I feel good on, I get like I stick to that. One time I smoked with my friend and I went to Whataburger. I love oh, Whataburger. I oh my f- aren't there any Whataburgers out here, bro? They're building a goddamn canes next to us. So I'm like, yeah. get that shit out of here. I, I don't want love it. <laughs> I love canes so much. It's don't so talk good. To me. No, but one time I was so I was went to Whataburger, I was so high. And I was like, my, I have like, should find the picture, but my eyes were like bloodshot. And I like, remember I, I like knocked over my fries and like four fell on the floor and I started laughing so hard. I cried. <laughs> and the, the people like the oh, cashier, no. the cashier came up. He's like, are you okay? I love and my that. friend's like, he's fine. He's fine. Like, <laughs> leave him alone. Like, he's okay. And I remember like cried so hard. And I was like, I was like, I have no self-control. I have like two hits. Babe. Bro, I, love, <laughs> oh I love being I so like, giggly. So and bad. That something is making. I love being so giggly that it makes you cry. I That's my favorite good. thing. It's They're my favorite best. thing ever. No, mojito giggles are the best. So <laughs> we were we were just in Catalina, and I was making us mojitos because that's like one of the only drinks I don't love. I don't like alcohol. I really I can't. Yeah, do when shots. we went to dinner, you didn't like want a drink. Or yeah, anything. I, I really. Or you're not an alcohol person either. It depends on like what we're eating in the situation, because yeah. I'll like. I'll take shots. True. I'll be like, let's She's go. She's very but much then... like, I don't like to sip on shit. And I'm, I'm like very much like, let's I just like get to drunk. sip yeah, on I shit. Like, I like, but I like to chug it. Yeah. <laughs> I prefer like just get, now I guess I'm more of a sipper, but like before I used to just be like, if I'm going to drink, I'm just going to do three and then I'll be done. Mm-hmm. And I'd rather get out of the way and then just. <laughs> See, okay. And you know your limit. You know the yeah, yeah. Yeah. Listen like... to my recipe. You might like this. Save it for later. So I. <laughs> One am... shot, two joints, no, another no. shot. <laughs> no, yeah, no, no, no. In a way, in a way. Obviously, have your joints in between. But so like I like mimosas, but this is the different thing. I like mojitos because I love mojito. I love yes. mojito. And I like to make them myself because I don't like to ask for them when we go out places because I know how annoying it is to make them. Like I understand like it makes like, it takes yeah. so much f-ing time and if it's busy and I'm like, Can I get a mojito? And then like five minutes later I'm like, Can I get another mojito? They're gonna <laughs> yeah. be like, Oh so it's gonna spit in my drink. You know what I mean? So I'm not even gonna So at home I'll make it and we always do 
Um, we always do the strawberries because I make strawberry mojitos instead. So much better. They're oh, just... I did a blueberry one. Ooh. Oh, that one's re- it was really good. That. Yeah. Oh, I want to try that. Okay, okay it was I'll do really, blueberry. It added a good flavor. Like, it was nice. It I was will nice. try that. Yeah. I will. Did you get lit for the Barbie movie? I, I just didn't. Have to know. Okay. I didn't get lit. I for the Barbie. I was like, I don't need to be drunk to see Barbie. Like, <laughs> also, it's like it's uh, it's more like thoughtful of a movie than you would expect it to see, be. See, everyone was like, that. get drunk on Twitter. They were well, like, oh, get they drunk. Didn't know what kind of movie? But they then were everyone's expecting. crying. Yeah, Every all their videos. All, they have, yeah, they probably f-ed themselves getting drunk yeah. before going and see that because it was a little bit more of a thought processing movie than they thought. <laughs> yeah. That's what I've been hearing. Yeah, so yeah. I'm like, I might have one drink and be good. Yeah, chill. But because I make our mojitos with three shots in them. Oh, so that way we only have after. one or two, and, and we're done. done. Yeah. Because two, I mean, you're six, you're six shots deep. Babe. Yeah, I, and I make them good, so you don't even hardly taste the alcohol. Because I do Chubby. strawberry, I do the a mint, obviously, and then I do the lime, and then I do simple syrup, and then instead of club soda or whatever, yeah, sparkling, it just doesn't taste soda. good that good to me. I do lemonade instead. Oh wow! The lemonade, I do strawberry lemonade, or they have the mojito lemonades that have like ginger and lime in it yeah. already, so it kind of gives it a little, and then. There's the three shots of Bacardi, and yeah. then we're good. I went to the Bacardi factory in Puerto Rico, and like learned, we did a we did a drinking class, like drink making class. Uh, and me, was me and my boyfriend were in Puerto Rico, and oh my god, there was like white women there, and they were literally half a shot in. Wow! Oh my god! Oh, they were having literally. Hey! They, <laughs> they were having the time of their life, and I was like. Aww. And then they they had like the like Puerto Rican like Spanish music playing and she was they were like moving their <laughs> hips. It was the funniest experience of my life. Like it was oh so god. funny. They're like, hey, we're gonna get a loot. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Well, how was the drink making experience? Yeah. Though? It was good. What I kind like, of drink did you make? Mojitos and uh, <laughs> we did a mojito and then another rum drink. I forgot. Did it taste different than like Bacardi here? No, it was it was good. I feel like they gave us like the higher end, yeah, like the more expensive. Alcohol one. just tastes so much different outside Mexico of the tequila. US. I, can I can do drink that yeah. on ice. I could. I we were in Mexico one time, and this girl gave us the best shot, and I'll never do shots again because that one shot was the best shot of my life. And it was like a chocolate. <laughs> it was like a chocolate cake shot. Oh wow, that's crazy. It was so good. Well, really good. Wait, so what are your like modern fears like today? Like, what do you fear like right now? I can go first. Go yeah, ahead. Go. yeah. Okay, so like, <laughs> I have this like really crazy fear that like I'm gonna wake up one day and everyone's like moved on from me, and I feel like it comes from like it like <laughs> comes from social media and it also comes from just like a fear. I have a fear of rejection or something mm-hmm. that like I don't know. It just like festers, mm-hmm. but I don't know why. I'm like getting over it now. I feel like it's like kind of kind of past it. I mean, like, I, I feel that that makes sense. Yeah. I mean, that's I feel like I feel like I low key feel like everybody has that thought. Yeah, a couple times being like, "Uh, is everyone gonna still be around me? Yeah, like, what's happening? Is like, gonna I don't like know. me anymore. Uh, <laughs> literally. Yeah, I'm gonna wake it's up. like you lose people in life. Like you're not yeah. close with the people that you once were close with, and at that time in life, like I was like, oh, these are my forever people. Yeah, and they're not there no more. Yeah. And then you find new forever people, and then it's like, well, what if they're not there no more? Like it's always that backhand anxiety. Yeah, of like, yeah. yeah, yeah. I know. It's I feel like. That. It's a really crazy fear, and I feel like it really. We were just talking about this like last no, night. Literally. Yeah, it, I don't know why. I'm like, it really does hit me sometimes. I'm like, and then I'm like, no, that's not a real thing that happens. Like, like if some, if like no one just can just forget you in one day. There's that, no way like that. everyone can just like move on in one day. It takes so. time. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It takes a bit of time. Yeah, right? it takes a bit of time. Yeah. So we're <laughs> talk about. So we're moving out together. Yeah, we're separating. We're, we're, we're living and live separately. Yeah. And we we're Are just talking about this. We're both excited. We're both yeah. nervous. We're both scared. I'm a little nervous. I'm yeah. a little scared, but I've lived on my own before, so I'm like also like excited. That's why she's fine. Yeah. She's yeah. been telling she's been telling me that I like I need to be excited. Oh. And I'm scared as fuck cuz I've never lived by myself before. Everyone and then loved, I'm living like, by myself in once. LA and it's just yeah. it's just scary and I'm just like nervous, but yeah. like I moved in by myself like last year, like literally like probably like, 12 months ago. And it's just so nice. The only thing that sucks is like you can't blame anyone for any chores. <laughs> like the tra- if the trash is be t- like, hey, when Carl's pissing everywhere, and we're I'm like, not gonna have anyone to blame. Not <laughs> have anyone to blame. <laughs> nope, I know. Sorry, oh, damn. I guess that's a fear now, our modern fear. Yeah, it's like moving and it's like change, alone. change. Like that's a big change for you guys because you guys are always together. And you can always like make content and like always like do stuff together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I feel like you'll still have that. Are you guys? That's I think I feel like if anything, it'll make it better because right now we don't like our space, and oh. that's the main thing. Yeah. I feel like if we liked our space and we had an apartment that we loved together, it'd be different. It'd be different. But yeah. the apartment that we have is just 
not the vibe like it's ex it's expensive and it's like not the vibe you know yeah. what i mean like we're yeah. like it's dark as f it's we have no light it's like not the, aesthetically it's, it's, pleasing to like us we've had yeah. the same furniture the whole time we've been there because yeah. we just never felt inspired yeah for like what we could deck like it's just never felt like a space that we would like want to like create in all yeah. the time Literally. and so then we started getting in like little like creative funks and like not wanting to like even like create and like it was yeah. just like mm. I, feel so like I feel like it might be better change is always good like i feel Everything like it happens for a reason that's what i i actually really genuinely believe that i like, do too i used to piss her off with that really huh i used yeah. to, I used to say, <laughs> well, get it i i know it i know it's annoying but it's so I, true but i have to that's i say it all the time because i have to remind myself because it's like it's annoying as i was like everything happens for a reason uh, you know what I mean? Like it's annoying, yeah. but I'm not saying it just because I'm like pulling out of my ass. It's because it's like everything happens for a reason. Yeah, that's everything true. happens for a reason, or else yeah. we wouldn't be here. Yeah. Literally, you no. say. You know yeah. what I mean? Like it's all no. Like, like I have this all like like you said, smoke and mirrors. The only reason I like even started TikToking was I used to live with Jen, right? And I we, know. And we had this Ms. third Jen, roommate yes, who yes. like I love love Jen. Love, love you, Jen. Jen. <laughs> Shout out at Jennifer Mika. We well, need out. a button that just says love you, Jen. Love you, Jen. <laughs> Anytime you mention yeah. Jen, you can just. Aww. No, yeah, but I um, <laughs> we had a third roommate and she was kind of awful to me, like when oh. Jen was away. So I decided I was like, I'm not gonna live with them anymore. I can't do that. Yeah. And I also thought Jen was like better friends with her than I was. So like okay. I was like, so I decided to move in with new friends. And then um, at, and then right before I was moving, I got broken up with by a boyfriend who like didn't like me. Like we just like didn't get along. That, well, it was like COVID. Mm -hmm. And then, um, but because I moved to a new space and I was living with different people, I like started TikToking because I didn't feel like I was like stepping on Jen's toes. She was mm -hmm. already like doing TikTok. And then I also was like in a new space by myself, like got to like refine myself. And that's the only reason I started TikToking, I feel, oh. is because like those you two had... things, like those two bad things led yep. to like one good thing mm -hmm. of like a new space, new people. And like my own time to figure what out. Full refreshment. Yeah. Literally. And so like without those like bad things happening, I wouldn't have like had one really amazing thing happen. Mm -hmm. And I feel like for months I was like, why is this shit happen? Like why is no, like. No, we, yeah. we talk about that all the time. Like we we are always like, oh, like this is happening. This is happening. Like why isn't this happening for us? Or like we see like other creators or mutuals like doing things that like we would love to also yeah. like be like trying to like accomplish. Yeah. We're like, what are we doing wrong? You know what I mean? Like what are we doing wrong? But then, like, we also forget, like, we have some stuff of our sleeve that, like, we still haven't even, like, Literally. been able to tell anybody that, like, we've been working on and, like, things like that that, like, we're proud of. And, like, we're, like, nobody else has done that. You know what yeah. I mean? So it's, like, kind of give yourself some credit for, like, the shit you're I doing. Know. You know Literally. what I mean? I'm, like, like, I have a TikTok journal where I, like, write my highs and lows. Aw, that's, but that's it's, so like, smart. Yeah. That's smart. And it's, like, I'll just, like, write things down and, like, date it. And I'll be, like, oh, my God. Okay. So, like, I saw them look at the things that I've accomplished or the things mm -hmm. I'm really proud of. And, like, mm -hmm. it's not all about TikTok, but I feel like. It literally says it set TikTok you. on it for the, like it your the life. life. For like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, like, and it's just like a nice reminder of like the what? things I've get, I get to do. I also like I do this thing where I like put my goals down for the year, and mm -hmm. there was like things I never thought would happen, and we're like six months into the year, and like a lot of them have. Yeah, and I'm no. like it's so it's, wild. I swear Our to God, station boards. Yeah, yeah. nuts, nuts. Well, it's, just, it's, just, it's like I feel like there's such power in writing stuff down. Like yeah. I fully feel like. When you are putting your energy into that paper and you're like, just, you know also, what I mean? Yeah. Like, shit, just, I don't know how the world works, but like, I fully believe, like, ah, I always tell her, I'm like, journal it, yeah. journal it, also, write it down. Also, you know I mean? like, I'm always like, <laughs> write it down. Like, I, I also go. feel like one of the things that holds you back the most in life is like fear, like fear of how you'll be perceived or fear mm -hmm. of like failure or fear of like, what if it doesn't go the way I want it to? And nothing ever goes the no. way you want it to. Yeah. But, and I think like fear is such a hindering factor in a lot of, like your life and like once you get over it you're like oh my god i'm one happier two doing better mm -hmm. and three like it's working out i don't know i feel like it's better to try something than to not try at all and then no absolutely yeah, yeah. like i never thought i would be living in california i told myself as a kid i hated la i hated california i, I never wanted to live in california really? i would never be a california girly i remember like when i first even started i was such like a little hypocrite when i first started like seeing social media i was like oh like I, don't, I was jealous. I was yeah. pro I was projecting, being yeah. like, "Ugh, what a easy job!" As I'm like busting my ass at three different jobs, yeah. at the medical dispensary, at the restaurants, like not even having any time to like do what I want. And then like it's like ten o'clock at night, and then I'm like, "Well, I want to do this." And then I'm like putting on like makeup at ten o'clock at night, <laughs> doing a little TikTok. You know what I mean? And then it blows I, up, and then like my life changes. Yeah. Like it's just crazy it's wild. i remember i remember on your spam you were like moving to la <laughs> and you were like crying you're like i, I don't want to 
go. Bawling. And I was like, yeah. Oh, like, I was bawling my eyes out. I was like, oh, shit. It's different when, like, you're like, oh, it's happening versus when it's like, oh, I'm going. Like, yeah. I'm actually, like, it's bad. It's yeah. happening. Like, it's, it's, oh, it was, it was so hard. Yeah. I had to pack up my entire car and I was like, <clears throat> like, that's rough. Yeah. You had scary. way different hair back then, too, I feel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's so, on. Yeah. I, was, I had, like, little, like, blonde, blonde highlights right. and stuff. And then, I feel like your hair was like so big and curly. Yeah, I did have. Yeah, yeah I love yeah, my like, curls. I know yes. I've been like trying to heal my curls lately. They yeah. were fried from that blonde hair. But they look, <laughs> I loved that blonde hair. It was so good. It was good. Do you but guys, it was just a little dead. Well, what's your fear right now? Mm -hmm. Is it is it like moving? Is that your big fear? I think it's moving. I think like that's all I can really think about. Like yeah. my head is just like, oh, we're going to be leaving. Like even like TikTok, you're so used to looking at yourself in a different space, like the same space every mm -hmm. single day. And I feel yeah. like that's also going to be like a huge change to your followers. Yeah. And it's just like we're all going through it together. And it's a little scary. Mm -hmm. But I, I mean, we're going to mm -hmm. do it. When it's I moved, good. I was like, oh, my God, I'm going to be in a different room. Like no. I just like been in the same room for two years and I was going to be in a different room all it's, of a sudden. Yeah. It's just, ugh, yeah. Because like, she was like, if we want to move, we need to move before school starts again for like all these kiddos that are going to be like snagging Snag it up. Yeah. Yeah. All, all these apartments, apartments and stuff like that. And I was like, no, you're right. And so we were both looking like really fast. We're like, okay, let's look, let's look, let's look. Like you just never know. And then I found a place. But now we're still waiting for her to find a place. And then that's also what's giving us hella anxiety yeah. is the fact that like we're still waiting to like find the spot. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. But it's like a good thing because it's an exciting thing, which means everything happens for a reason. Yeah. Which I just keep saying, I'm like, the right space is just like it's getting freshened up. Someone's leaving it. Yeah. <laughs> someone's, yeah. someone's, someone's taking their sweet ass time to get the fuck out. That. You know what I mean? Like there's always something, but it's like it's there. And I just, yeah. I am always, you know me, I think of every avenue. I, I expect the best and I prepare for the worst. I said that. I mean, Circle I, back. I stick by that <laughs> for real. But yeah, yeah. it's going to be fine, dude. It's, it's going to be, be good. Fine. Yeah, you're going to figure it out. Yeah. Do you guys have any fears for like the future? Like what, like. Um, I'm, I'm fearful. <laughs> there's, so um, like, yeah, I, I, there's so many things that I want to do still that I haven't. Yeah succeeded in doing within the two and a half years that we've been here like I feel like I've been procrastinating very much on a lot of like dreams that I want to do yeah. and so I'm just nervous as to what timeline that yeah. kind of yeah. stuff is going to yeah. be like kicking in you know what I mean yeah. like I just don't do you, know do you guys know Teffy by any chance like Teffy Pessoa that name sounds so familiar yeah. I'm okay. terrible with faces sometimes okay. so. I'll, I'll show you I, I okay show you now, but uh, she um I was on she has a little like YouTube series she does and it's called like the Super Bowl and um, you pick a question out of a bowl and answer it. And oh. my question I picked out was like, are you afraid of death? Which I thought was like so funny. And my first thought was like, well, I've done more in my life than I ever thought I'd get to do already. Like I yeah. never thought I'd get to do all these things. And I still have like so much life to live. So I'm mm -hmm. not like, I think if I died today, I'd be like fine with what I accomplished. Mm -hmm. yeah. But like, I'm also not, so I don't think I'm afraid of dying, but I'm like, dying is scary like it's yeah, like so totally like, yeah well, if, i i've also yet to lose like a really major family member like Same. like i haven't really i mean like experienced as an adult like a huge loss and i'm like not ready for that like my that's, great grandma like, was like the one for me she was yeah. like oh that was so sad mainly because she was just she was still kicking and she yeah. was doing she's so funny my everyone just called her the crazy lady because she was part of this red hat club where like they'd all go and do like line salsa dancing and stuff like that. And they all had like their red hat fits on. It was so funny. Aww. And they're all just like old and they're so cute. And she was just kicking, kicking, kicking. Yeah. But she was just like the life of the party. And so when she was gone, I was like, oh, I'm, that's I'm like rough. kind of excited to be like old and like crazy and like have like and people were like, he's so alive. Yeah. Like, no, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah like, no, never I died. Know. My brother, my brother one time was like, I can't wait to be like the old crazy guy in the grocery store. He's like, I'm just going to around with people and like walk in in my underwear and act like I have no idea where I am and I'm just gonna <laughs> people and I'm like don't get arrested doing that shit Girl, that's how they take that's how they book you into like a, a psych ward or like, yeah, yeah like an old, like, an old person home like, like, yeah, I'm like, mm -hmm. and I'm like it's funny until it's not like, yeah mm, that. Careful. but there's like so many stories I'll have when I'm like 65 or 70 no I like know. you know I'm like man, I'll have such a full like lived life and that's we can like, finally so tell great. our life stories like we really haven't like been able to like you know when kids ask you they're like what yeah. did you do like I'm da, 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 like da. well I'm excited for that I still don't know what I want to be when I grow up you know no I know like, we still, like, <laughs> isn't that crazy like we're still kind of like low-key figuring it out being yeah babies I had this thing in my head where I thought I was gonna grow up and like be like oh I'm an adult like I would like something would switch and I'd be like I'm an adult and like 
I'm doing this and like this is me as an adult. But I'm like, technically I'm an adult right now and I'm like, what the f no, <laughs> I forget sometimes I'm a full ass adult. Yeah. Like, I just like go and do whatever I want and I'm like, yeah. Oh, uh, because I'm 17 at heart. Yeah. I fully, like you're like, I'm 19. Uh, yeah, I feel like I'm 19 some days. Like I fully I'm am like, like, I'm not an adult. I feel not. like I'm like 22 still. And then like sometimes you I'm like- You look 22. You do. I'm 19, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I like, I, I just feel like- you could do be a 19 year old in a movie. Like, you really no, would. You like, could. you know how? Let me shame okay, me. really <laughs> quick. <laughs> what the fuck is up with these movies casting the oldest looking guys for these high school characters? Yeah. What did we just it watch? Makes my blood boil. That I don't even that. know, but they're, they're, literally they're fully like graduating college. I'm like, and you're supposed to be a sophomore in high school? Bro, you like, the wrinkles are showing. Yeah. You know oh what God. I mean? Like, Euphoria season three. They're like going to start filming next year. No, it's not and coming out until 2027 now. Yeah, yeah, which means that all the cast members will be like in their 30s playing high schoolers. I'm like, they'll have to do like a 10-year time jump or something. I think they yeah. are. They are going to skip forward. They have They're going to skip there's forward. There's no way. Because like. There's no way. Okay, but Zendaya, she'll be that. She looks so beautiful. She, I know. She can pay. <laughs> she, she can pay a teenager never for her life. Ages. Literally. She, like, she, she never so ages. Good. Yeah. I don't understand. I know, but like, Nate. Come on. Yeah, You're telling me that guy's look. a high schooler? <laughs> Shut the f*** up. I can't. I that can't. That actor is so hot. I'm so sorry. What's his name? <sighs> Jacob. 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 Elordi. Elordi. Yeah. What a name. He's playing uh, the new Elvis yeah. in the upcoming Pres Presley Elvis, Presley, Presley film. Okay. I never watched the other Elvis with that guy, Austin Butler. Oh, you didn't? No. Only reason I didn't like it was because it felt like a montage yeah. the whole time. I felt like I was watching a scrapbook. It was good, but I what felt like I was watching. About, no, yeah, it was so the crazy. editing in it. I felt like I was in like a Peter Pan movie at oh, some really? point. I was like, "What is There's happening?" So much going on. Like it, it the, the, the movie wasn't a fairy tale. You know no, what I mean? Yeah. Like the man fell in love with like a fourteen-year-old. I'm like, Did let's he not. Actually? Yeah, yeah, that's why this new movie coming out is about her life because he was older, and, and she was like, fourteen. How, she was fourteen when they met. They get married. I I, so. Yeah, they got married, but I don't remember if she was fourteen when they got married. If there was fourteen when they met. But either way, he was still like 20, 20 something. He was in the war. He was already like older. Yeah. It was just wrong. That's and it's so just weird. people forget that a lot. Yeah. And they just glamorize, glamorize, glamorize it. And I'm no, like, let's like, not forget. Old like, Hollywood yeah. and shit was so fucked old up. Old Hollywood is scary. Like Drew Barrymore's yeah. story, heartbreaking. Scary. Like oh my God. That's not even old Hollywood, though. Mm -hmm. It somewhat is I mean, if you yeah, think about it. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, well, yeah. old Hollywood in the sense of like age and relationships yeah. and like sexual. Or even like Shit, the way like, that Michael Jackson was able to like run around, like the way he did, like so f***ed up. Yeah. The world is nasty. Okay, I think we're gonna move into our next segment where we're gonna be playing a game. <laughs> it's called Alvi the Judge. We're gonna put on our colonial style judge wigs. Oh God. And we're gonna be listening to some fan submitted situations. And we're gonna decide whether they are guilty or innocent. Ooh. 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 Okay. Okay, so we're about to start. Order in the court. <laughs> Ooh. <-hoo. laughs> okay, this is the first one. Um, and it is, am I guilty for talking to a guy for attention since I have daddy issues, even though I know I'm a lesbian? <laughs> on three. Oh, on this three. Is you. On three. <laughs> <laughs> no, literally. Why is this me? Did I write this in? I may have. Girl, that is so funny. Whoop, those two, those poor two guys. <laughs> I don't on know. three. On three. I think innocent. What? Well, you're not guilty for that. She's not like. Do like okay? How how much how much talking? talking to a guy for attention? <laughs> Even though I know I'm a lesbian. Well, you know, you get lonely, and there's nothing wrong with t talking. Is harmless. Maybe she's trying to make a friend. Yeah. Okay. Maybe well, why, she's. Why can't you just say I see that? No, they're looking for male Jayden, validation. Yeah, J Jaden. Mm, okay. Okay. Jaden's anti woman. Yeah. I'm gonna say it. Uh, no, <laughs> I just I I feel Are you like, on his side. No, I just. <laughs> Is this for is this a girl or a guy's question? Well, she's a lesbian. Yeah, that's okay. That's what I'm saying. So if she's a lesbian. Then why would she even want to have male validation? I feel like she's just like she just but she's just a girl. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, I, <laughs> she's what's the what's the what's the funny song? She's just, um, a girl. just a girl. Okay. Let's give her some. Let's give her some. I slack. think she's innocent. I mean, like she's you could say guilty. No, I want to hear your guys. What is the I jury's hear, thoughts? I hear your point. I hear your point. I hear your point. She needs someone to talk to. What if she's like not comfortable we being peer pressured her into being on our side? <laughs> well, no, I want to be able to hear both sides. This yes. is the court. This is yep. the court. I need to hear. Yes. <laughs> okay. So I was saying, Anna, I feel like she's not that like also maybe she was just doing it for a day. And yeah. Then... It's not like she was like, I'm 
asking this guy for attention. Yeah. yeah. You know, and that's just like, I feel like it's not that serious. It's not that deep. Plus, some people like to mess that's with that's straight that's guys. I mean, that's really OnlyFans. That's what OnlyFans is. Okay. Okay. Innocent. Well, innocent. This is the next one. <laughs> Am I guilty for still using my sister in law's ex as my hairstylist and now as my photographer at my wedding next year? Well, how, how, what? I mean, no, it's Girl. not your ex, right? I mean, your sister in law's ex. She's a photographer ex. and hairstylist. Your it's not like your. I mean, it's okay. He, he must be doing some well, good hair. Well, yeah, right? I must but be doing thing. a really good job. At the, she's, the photographer at her wedding, though. Yeah. Well, well, well like maybe sister-in-law's she, ex. Well, we don't you know, know maybe the relationship. It's a little... What if the sister-in-law is like, it's okay, we're going good terms. True. True. Wait, 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 wait. So the sister-in-law, that means she's married to the, like a sibling, right? Yes. So like, it's there's some time has passed. It's not a fresh wound. <laughs> right. Right? But would you want your ex to be at your wedding? But he's well, a it's professional. Not her, or, it's or, not her, or a family it's not gathering. But it's also like, he's a professional. Okay. Photographer, I feel like you're just messy. Stylist. This is just a messy girl who wants messy things to happen. Ooh. Right? I, I agree. I feel like <laughs> there are so many photographers out there. Yeah. Maybe it's a good But discount. what if it's like a <laughs> So he's gonna be doing your hair at your wedding and then taking the pictures. Oh, a double whammy. Ooh, she's trying to catch a deal. <laughs> okay, okay. I don't know. I'm a Maxinista, so I'm gonna vote your innocent. <laughs> I you know feel what? like it's not harmful. Well, I I'm feel like, like he's. I would. It would be different if it was like, am I guilty for like inviting my sister in law's ex to the wedding? I'd be yeah. Like, uh, yeah. Well, okay. I feel like it's. It's. He's doing a job for he's the working. wedding. He's making it look amazing. He's doing I a service. Like, I he's just doing feel a like job for the how wedding. how bad is the like how bad is their ex relationship? See, that's what we'll mm-hmm. never mean? know. Like we need more context. We need more. Also, I feel like if you really cared about what your sister-in-law was thinking, you wouldn't be getting your hair done. That. So, I mean, you're already yeah. you're gonna do you're already whatever going you want to do. You're already going for it. Yeah. I feel like you're a strong, independent person. You can do whatever you want. I, innocent. Really? Innocent. Mm-hmm. Innocent. Am I guilty if I don't want my BF's dog to sleep with us because he's too much and smells? Okay, you guys are both pro-dog. <laughs> I know I am pro dog. You're pro dog? Yeah. But I'm I, a dog person. But if the dog is stinky, like I wash our dogs. Yeah. yeah. Like we are our dogs are clean and they smell good. Yeah. So if you're if your boyfriend's not washing your dog yeah. or not washing his dog. Oh my god, and guys don't wash their sheets like straight guys. I mean, don't if wash they don't wash their, their balls, they're not washing their dog. That. You know what I mean? Like, let's be real. And they're so not washing their dog's balls. If your dog <laughs> So if your dog stinks, I would have to say So you're innocent. You're innocent. You're innocent. Innocent. And it's okay. This is the innocence. Innocence. He just needs a little help episode. with hygiene and the dog's part. Well, yeah. okay. Well, like I would feel like either put up the boundary where like the dog can, has to be clean. Let me just sleep with it. But dogs get dirty so fast. That. Like if you take them to the it dog also depends. Park, Is it like more of an outside dog? Is it more of an inside dog? Well, like it's definitely our, an in, It's probably both. Yeah. 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 Right? I would. Yeah. I feel like you can't have an a inside, inside dog. dog. That's like a that's inside. Like a, that's like a chihuahua. Do, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And even because they yap at everything. Yeah. Well, yeah, they just yap at everything, and then they end up going right back inside because the owners are embarrassed. I I've seen it happen. I'm I have a confession. I'm pro Chihuahua. Hey, my grandma I has two Chihuahuas. Chihuahuas. I Pico love Chihuahuas. Pico and Chico, and they're the cutest little Don't, thingies. Uh, Pico and Chico. Pico and Chico. <laughs> That needs the, to be a TV show. They're the cutest Pico little things. That is so cute. They're the cutest little things ever. And ever since, sad to say, Pico passed. So it's just Chico now, and now he's the calmest little thing ever because Aww. he just. He just is like, I'm done. Being okay. Good. I feel like that person's innocent, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. The next one is, I peed under the table at school. How old are they? How, what grade are we in? <laughs> because the teacher wouldn't let me go to the bathroom. Is this like a sixth grade? No. Who said you couldn't go to the bathroom? What What grade are we in? Oh, my. If this peed, is, if this is well, anything other than... <laughs> I feel like this is like a bad kid who was just like being bad, right? I mean, is this real? How bad did you have to pee? You couldn't say emergency. I'll piss on my. I'll piss at my desk. Some no, teachers are cunts, though. No, true. My brother. I've had teachers had not let me like go change my tampon. Yeah. yeah. Why is an elementary schooler commenting on? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. What I feel like I'm love? kind of voting guilty because that's like really like a lot. That's a lot. Pissing in your seat, girl. You're guilty. P- pissing under the table. That's guilty. <laughs> I would say guilty. guilty. Okay, this is the last one. I kicked my friend out of my house because he didn't wash his hands after using the restroom. Valid. To- totally valid. 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 
It seems a little extreme. A little extreme, but it's valid. If you're a huge clean freak, yeah. Like valid. Totally. But if, he might not have even touched like, his wiener. What he could have done a no hands moment. He could. Or what if he shit? <laughs> or what if he just oh, needed to go in there to fart? What if he took a shit? What well, if he needed to go in there to collect it? <laughs> True, you there's nothing what? to get dirty. There's nothing to clean. <laughs> there's nothing to clean. That is terrible. That is oh terrible. my god. Okay. And guilty. Yeah, I would <laughs> guilty. Think. Yeah, I don't know. You can do whatever you want. I, mean, I think you're guilty. Guilty, I guess. Yeah, I, guess I don't you know. know. I, I, well, that's fine. You know, it would, if you had said I'm an extreme germaphobe, I would have said you're innocent. Yeah. Oh yeah, I would have actually. Maybe they're just innocent, girl. Those are your rules to your house, right? Well. No, you're right. Mm. Your house, your rules, you're right. But that's the I thing. Don't... Explain that you're a germaphobe. Yeah. yeah. If it's just an ick, then just be like, it's an ick. You know? Maybe like... she just hates men. It's my house. Okay, innocent. <laughs> <laughs> innocent. Right. Jury. Okay. This is the end of the episode. Okay. Yes. Thank you guys so much for being on. You look beautiful. Thank, Thank you. you for having <laughs> us. I love my new wig. Thanks. Would you please let the cameras know where people can find you, what your ats are, individual, new joint accounts, perhaps? Oh, yeah. Ooh. Kara's been posting extra on our joint account lately, Kara X Jaden on Instagram and TikTok too? Or did he have that one? Someone take it. Oh, I think someone, someone took may have it. took that account. Really? Yeah, and then they want you to buy the username. Yeah. That's really crazy. Cunt. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you can follow us on Instagram at Kara Canella and Jaden Gomez at TikTok, Kara Canella and Jaden Gomez. Or YouTube. Which we've been slacking on. <laughs> but thanks for having us. Yeah. yeah. Okay, perfect. You can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube at Rigo Taquito. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, you can't. It's not Twitter anymore. Or maybe hey. it is. I don't know. I can't. I'm hey. just like. Have you seen that? Yeah. They, they changed the Twitter name to X. Did you yeah. see that? Yeah. I don't huh. know what the hell's happening. Me neither. Crazy. But I just want to say thank you guys. Thank you, campers, for sticking around for another episode. Please follow, rate, and review Gay and Afraid wherever you get your podcast, and subscribe to the Past Your Bedtime channel on YouTube for full video episodes. We'll see you next Tuesday. Woo! Thank you, campers. Bye. 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 Thank you.